It is gruesome footage. Police stand by while a mob starts attacking houses belonging to Ahmadiyya followers. Then the killing starts. Three men are stripped naked, stoned and beaten to death. The footage is too graphic to show. Police outnumbered by the crowd, just stand by. What I mostly regret is that this is being done in the name of religion. Even if it hadn't been done in the name of religion, this is too horrible to watch. Ahmadiyya followers are accused by some in Indonesia of being defiant Muslims because they believe the sect's founder was a prophet. Mainstream Muslims believe that Muhammad was Islam's last prophet. Human rights groups accuse the government of indirectly inciting the violence after it banned Ahmadiyya's activities in 2008. This has criminalized the group and has made it the focus of violent attacks. President Yudhoyono defends the government's decision to ban Ahmadiyya's activities. If everyone had followed our agreement, this kind of riot, this kind of violence could have been prevented. Protesters are demanding the government defend religious minorities in Indonesia more seriously. Tolerance and religious freedom under attack in Indonesia in an increasingly brutal way. People killing others horrifically in name of religion. These protesters are demanding the government to immediately stop the incitement of hatred. The Indonesian government has announced it will review the law that bans Ahmadiyya, but it has refrained from making clear how it plans to protect its followers. Step Fasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.